Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you my Easter decor and Easter basket for my son who is one year old. But before I get started into the video, if you're new here, I just want to welcome you. My name's Alex and I make all kinds of motherhood and lifestyle videos on this channel. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and you can also find me over on Instagram. So I've never actually decorated for Easter before. Christmas, yes, Easter, no. I don't know if it's such a big thing in Australia to decorate as much as popular as it is in the States, but I don't know what it is. Maybe since having a child, I'm just, I just feel like making the occasion really festive and getting into the spirit of it. So I am a little bit limited because with little hands wandering around the place, you can't really have too many things laying about, but I've done a few little just touch festive touches. Um, Easter is actually one of my favorite times of the year. We're just getting out of summer and the weather's sort of turning. It's getting a little bit crisp in the morning and you get to put on your warm PJ. So anyway, without further rambling, let me just show you the few little bits and pieces that I've put up. Um, so the first thing, which you might have seen the other day, I was putting up in my um, single mum for three days video is my garland which i have over here so this is just from a distance from my lounge room and i got this from bed bath and table sorry bed bath and table yeah bed bath and table and it's just this uh, berry garland that i've put on the staircase and i used two strands for that and yes jed does like to pull off or well pull try to pull off the berries when we're going on up the stairs but i think it looks really really cool so it's worth the hassle so then just going into the kitchen just something easy that i've done is a lovely fresh um, fresh bars of tulips and I just got this bunch for five dollars from Audi and that's all you need it just adds this really pretty little pop of color and freshness and I just love those and then over here in the corner I have this little um, little bunny and flowers bowl that I got from uh, bed bath and table with some eggs in it and then here on the countertop I got this cute little Easter jar from Kmart and I've been sort of baking some cookies for the past couple of weeks to keep in that I didn't bake those though but that's just a cute little thing there and now I will take you out the back just excuse me if you can hear the traffic noise. Um, so this is a Easter pinwheel that I got from Kmart. It was $5 and I've just stuck it in the garden out here. Um, while I'm here, let me just show you these. These succulents were sort of suffering a little bit and I potted them today in some really cool little beer cans that I found and cider. Just did that today. So I'm actually going to redo this garden side note and get a compost and put it over there and put some herbs and veggies in there. So I'm really excited about doing that bit of gardening. Um, I haven't really done any since Jed came along, not much anyway, and I'm really looking forward to getting back into that. Um, so that honestly is the end of my Easter decor. As I said, it's just a few little touches a few little nods to the occasion but now i want to show you my easter basket for jed and um, also a couple of little prezzies for my nieces so we like my family didn't have easter baskets growing up and i think big easter baskets are more of a thing in the states but i have heard of people here in australia giving pajamas as an easter present because as i said it's sort of getting into the colder weather and i thought that would be a really nice tradition to start in our family for our children 
Um, now, I haven't really figured out. I should have put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. Probably not really for children's ears. I'm not really sure. Does the Easter Bunny bring... Does the Easter Bunny bring the pyjamas or do Mummy and Daddy bring the pyjamas? Um, we might have to figure that out. But anyway, let me just show you what I got my one-year-old son. So I thought, yeah, I think we'll start the tradition of getting him some pyjamas. Maybe like some new Ugg boots. I'm not going to give him Ugg boots this year because I think he'll probably just rip them off. He tends to do that with footwear. But anyway, let me just show you what I got. Okay, so I don't actually have a basket as such. I've just got this little cute pile. So this bunny I also found at Bed Bath and Table. When I was just uh, shopping, sort of perusing there one day, I picked this up and I just flashed it in front of Jed and he smiled and he wanted to touch it and I just knew that I wanted to get it for him for Easter. So that's that cute little bunny. I also just have a bunch of socks for him and some flannelette pajamas. These ones have little space bunnies on them. And then I got him this uh, book, We're Going on an Egg Hunt, which has uh, flaps, which who doesn't love a flap book? So I think he will love that. And obviously, hopefully the Easter Bunny will come and leave a little trail of eggs. Not that our young Jetty will be having much chocolate, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will bring a couple of little things. Okay, so over here, I'm just going to show you what I got for my nieces who are 10 and 8. So I found these really cute little mini pinatas from Kmart of course I haven't filled them with eggs yet but I'm, I'm gonna fill them probably just with eggs I think it's just a little um, a little space in there and then they love sort of soft toy cutesy things they're, they're, they're still into that so I found them these little sweet pom-poms also from Bed Bath and Table, I think they were $3 each, so I've just attached that to the years. I hope you enjoyed this and got a couple of little ideas from it. Have a happy Easter. I hope you have a lovely time with your family, whatever you're getting up to, and I will talk to you guys soon.